Okay, I'll try not to talk so fast. Actually, I won't, but this is the move tool. You know what it does. Left click, and you can just drag the object around on the screen. <coughs> Excuse me, on the picture. You can't drag it around the screen, just inside the uh, picture that you've selected. Okay. Um, and the other thing that you can move is through the keyboard on your keys. If you uh, right, if you push on the right button, that's the left button, left arrow button. See, each time you touch it, it moves over one pixel. It's called nudging. See that? Just nudged it right up there in the right left corner. Okay. Um, now, if the picture is 500 pixels wide, then you hit this button 500 times. Eventually, it would move that picture right off the screen, just like that. Now, it's right there. If you can see it, one pixel in. It's gone. There's one pixel, two pixels. See, now if you were to hit that 498 more times, it would come over here like that and just disappear on that side. That's what the nudge buttons do, or nudging. That's what it's called, right there. Actually, pretty cool, really. You use that a lot, <coughs> especially in text when you're lining it up. <coughs> if you make a mistake or something like that, you can stop the text tool and go ahead and reopen it again. Then you can nudge your text around so it looks aligned. Now, magic wand tool. All it does is just select an area. It's like the, like the marquee tool. Okay, it's like this. And in the marquee tool, you have a round one. Oh, let me just show you that while we're here. This is the magical marquee tool. See how we got that circle right there? I'm going to push the shift button. Oops. Okay, now I'm pushing the shift button. See how it's perfectly round? That keeps it in proportion. So you can collect a round circle, an absolutely perfectly round circle. If I don't, as I do, it'll make an ellipse. Or whatever you call that thing. Okay? That's the only real feature that that tool has. These two things down here are useless. I never use them for anything. I suppose they have a use, but I don't use them. Now, the uh, magic wand tool will go around and whatever uh, contrast and color it sees is where it's going to stop. It's like right inside here. See the little marching ants in there? I hope you can see them. I'm going to hit my backspace button and it turns black. The reason it turned black is because I don't have the image set to RGB. Image, mode, RGB. Now I've got it set to RGB. I can hit the backspace. Oops. Big error there. I have to come here to the background. Duplicate the layer. Just let it default. That's the default name, background copy. Just let it do that. Come here and turn this one off. Okay? That's in the layers palette. Now I hit the backspace button. See, it got, it got gone. It was removed. And it selected this whole area. This is a very easy picture to do this to. It selected the whole area. Now when I hit backspace, it's clear. It's very unfair to show you that as an example, but it, it is a good way so you can realize that that's what this tool does. Okay. But normally, when you go to remove the background from something, it's not all white and pretty like that. It's just trees and cars and different colors, and it's a little more detailed. But that's just to give you an example of what that tool does. Okay. Then to stop it, you just you could go to here. Or excuse me. There. I just clicked on that and clicked in the field so it stopped it. Now, when you save this, you would want to save that. Let's say you want to make an icon out of that or put that on your page as a graphic. So when you save it, you're going to go to File, Save As, and then you're going to select from down here, GIF, CompuServe, GIF, GIF, and you're going to name it, I'm going to just name this uh, 4As for right now. Then it's going to ask you these questions. The important thing is to click transparency. See it changing? If you don't have this click, <coughs> it will save it and it'll put that white background in it. Normal interlaced is just that when it starts, when it opens up on the internet, it gets like little like these little pixelized squares and it goes and it builds up. 
So normal means it just opens up like normal. Some people like that interlace stuff. I don't, I don't care about it. Okay, so that's saved now to my desktop with a clear background. The only way you can save something with a clear background is by using a GIF, a GIF, a CompuServe GIF. You could also use a PNG file, but we're not going to get into that right away. That's called a ping file. But GIF is the one that's commonly used and is good. No, no problems with it, and it works well. And now, lock that down, and we'll open this up. Go here, and we'll go look for AAA, and it shows up that it's there. And there it is. <coughs> okay, so we saved it. We we learned about the move tool, keyboard keys, a little something about this guy. That's all it does. That's all it does. Look, that will remove that white, but it won't remove that. Push the shift key, and a little uh, arrow shows up on that. Well, I'm going to push it again. See that little plus on the bottom? That means you can add things. Add colors. It'll just keep on going and going and going. You can get rid of all that. If we wanted to remove that, we could. But we don't want to. Control-Z. Right back to where I was. End of lesson.